Jewelry, from nails to hair to lips, bright and dramatic are two of the beauty trends that we're seeing this year. Bazay and Pinja of Glamour Magazine is here to tell us what's hot in 2010. Good morning. Good morning. What's hot is what you're wearing. Bright, yes. out there, bold. Color, color, color. We want color for spring. Let me see your, your fingernails. Yes, I'm wearing it on my Here's nails. An example. One of the big trends is notice me nails is what okay. we're calling it. They're nails that really, really stand out and they go beyond the basic colors that, that people are typically used to wearing, like the pale pink and white. Now, it's, it's, there's a lot of things you can do. You can go really dark and intense. You can do something really bright. But one of my favorite things is also texture. Okay. So something metallic, something mm -hmm. really shimmery and shiny, or something like I'm wearing, something that has really noticeable chunks of glitter, gold flecks, that kind of thing. And you don't have to worry about it clashing with your outfit because my French no. manicure goes with everything. Your French manicure does <laughs> go with everything, but there's so much you can do with this. Like right. Just like gold jewelry, gold nails, that goes with a lot of different things okay. too. It works with the black dress all as right. well. Yeah. There we go. And Essie, who makes all the popular colors, is making them now, Essie's too. Essie's got all kinds of shades in, in, in this kind of range. Very good. Eyeshadow, kind of the same idea. Don't same play idea. it safe anymore, Don't right? play it safe. Extend it up. Extend it out. Put it underneath your eye and just really, really smudge it out. It's kind of like the new smoky eye. I like Kim Kardashian, and she has that yes. same eyeshadow all over yes, her entire everywhere eye. Everywhere she can get it. And the same idea with the colors, because I'm mm -hmm. seeing metallics there too. Metallics again, and that you could do gray, a really pretty shimmery gray that looks good on almost everyone. Neutrals, and if you're a little bit more daring, you could try something like a soft green or a pastel like a purple, and it looks really gorgeous. All right, hair. Messy hair has mm -hmm. been in for a while, but you say mess it up even more mess it up even more and do something with it it doesn't have to just hang there you know you can create messiness with a product like this one from Garnier you just take a little bit of it it's kind of like a paste mm -hmm. put it on your ends scrunch it a little bit and that'll kind of bring out pieciness in your hair and texture tease it with a rat tail comb and then put some of it up let some of it hang down into your face put it into a ponytail and tease the tail up even more just make it fun the idea is to not look like you're trying too hard mm -hmm. you know it's too, you don't want something too structured. Right, too you know? quaffed. Yeah, but you don't want to go too far off the deep end. Yeah. Think of it like controlled chaos. Okay, we yeah. like that. We yeah. like that here, for sure. All right, this reminds me sort of what, of the 80s mm -hmm. when red lips were in. Are they back? They are back. They yeah. are definitely back, and with some friends, too. And you don't have to be Angelina Jolie to pull it off? You don't have to be Angelina Jolie, but we cannot take a cue from her. And what she's doing a lot with her bright lips is kind of keeping the rest of her face really soft and neutral. And that also helps if you want to wear that for daytime. So you can go bold, bright during the day. Bold, bright during the day. The trick is downplay your eyes. Okay. So you don't need to pile on eyeliner or a lot, a lot of mascara. You can actually leave your eyes bare if mm. you want, or maybe just a little mascara on the tips. So I like look that really look. fresh. All right. And yeah. lastly, you say rosy cheeks, rosy lips, kind of yes. matchy match. Yes. It's so pretty. It's I just, love it's just these gorgeous. colors that you brought. Yeah. This is a beautiful kind of classic rose from Lancome, and this is a Chanel lip lipstick that is pretty much in the same color family and that's what you want to stick with you want your chick your cheeks and lips to match so it's kind of a monochromatic look all over your face and that only applies to the rosy colors though right you don't want like red cheeks and red lips no 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 <laughs> with red lips or any bright lips in general okay. you really don't need anything on your cheeks at all that'd awesome. be way too much thank you so much thank you Great very to much see you. happy new year thank you you too now let's go over to harry